Have you ever wondered why some people have an irresistible charm even though they don't have any special features? Are you curious to learn about another method, more refined and profound, that doesn't require you to be a model or a billionaire? A method that ensures not only attraction, but also keeping the attention of those around you. Get ready to embark on a journey of exploring psychology and Stoic philosophy, where we not only seek external outer, but also strive to become the best version of ourselves. In today's video, we'll explore 10 psychological strategies rooted in Stoic philosophy that have stood the test of time in enhancing your charm subtly and sustainably. Emotional contagion is the first rule. Emotional contagion is the transfer of emotions and feelings from one person to another quickly and unintentionally, even among strangers. This phenomenon is easily spread and spreads faster among young people and women because they are often sensitive and can read others. Seneca once said, The most onerous slavery is to be a slave to oneself. This is especially important in the context of emotional contagion, a power through which your emotions can directly influence others. This raises the question, how can you keep your emotions not only positive but also contagious? If you reveal anxiety or confusion, it can easily spread to the people you're interacting with. Next, we'll explore the subtle ways to leverage an important principle in Stoic philosophy to become the center of attention whenever entering a new space. Rule no. 2. Social proof. This is the basis of the social proof effect in the relationship between men and women. On a personal level, a man who is liked and cared for by the people around him can quickly become a point of attraction in the eyes of women. In the digital age, this effect is also manifested through social media platforms such as Facebook or Instagram, where your image alongside others often serves as evidence of popularity and acceptance from the community. Seneca a famous Roman philosopher once said, to the Stoic who does not know where he wants to go, there is no favorable wind. We're curious to know, have you ever noticed a change in how others perceive you when you are liked and respected by friends and colleagues? By cleverly grasping and applying these principles, you not only attract attention, but also demonstrate the true value of yourself in line with the teachings of Stoic philosophers like Seneca. Rule 3. Make the choice ahead of time. Imagine entering a crowded bar on a Friday night with two female friends who have been your closest friends since college. As you and your group laugh, share stories, and enjoy yourselves, the crowd of women at the adjacent table begins to take notice of you. This is an intriguing psychological phenomenon that demonstrates how we are influenced by the opinions of those around us. In the modern social environment, the phenomenon of pre-selection plays a significant role in how we are perceived by others. Embrace it emphasizes that true attractiveness comes from allowing others to discover your value naturally rather than through self-promotion by men. By following stoic principles and being true to our values and letting others see those values, we not only build lasting relationships but also make ourselves more attractive to others. This is the most important lesson that Stoicism can teach us about getting along with others and making relationships last. Everyone wants something that makes them stand out. Have you ever thought about why exclusivity is so appealing and how you can use this to make yourself more valuable to others, especially women? Let's look at the secrets behind the appeal of exclusivity and how Stoic philosophy can help you use this to your advantage. Rule 4 Staying away from other people. People value what is scarce and don't pay much attention to what is plentiful. This is true for both material things and relationships. If you are too available and always there for everyone, your value may go down in the eyes of others. Stoic philosophy stresses living a purposeful and controlled life and values creating uniqueness and individuality within oneself. Epictetus once said, men are unhappy not by things but by the view which they take of them. As an example, let's say you're talking to a new person. Instead of asking them basic things like, what do you do? Or, where are you from? You could ask, what get you excited every morning when you wake up, besides your job? This question shows that you care about the other person and that you have your own thoughts and standards. 
Also, being available all the time isn't always a good thing. This doesn't mean you have to be cold or distant. Instead, show that you have your own life goals and activities that you do on your own. Being independent and not being too willing to give others too much of your time will make them value you more. Based on the ideas of Stoicism, keeping a purposeful, not too easy, and easily accessible attitude not only helps you become more attractive, but it also helps you build a strong personality. Join the conversation in the comments. Have you ever felt better about your own self-worth when you weren't always available to someone? Tell us about it. Rule number five, the full gaze. Zick Rubin, a social psychologist, found that when we talk to each other, we maintain eye contact 30% to 60% of the time. But when two people are in love, that number goes up to 75% or more. This means that long, deep eye contact is not only a sign of interest, but also of a deeper relationship. From the point of view of Stoicism, maintaining eye contact is not only a psychological skill, but also a way to show restraint and self-control, which are central to Stoicism. When we deliberately choose to maintain prolonged eye contact, we not only demonstrate respect and interest in what others are saying, but also reflect our ability to control our internal emotions and keep our minds focused. Naturally, looking at each other builds trust and closeness between two people. It's also the first step toward a sincere and deep relationship where every story and sharing becomes a way for you and her to connect emotionally. From the point of view of a stoic, you're also practicing self-control and humility by choosing to listen over show off your skills. But you might be wondering, how can I naturally apply prolonged eye contact without creating a sense of pressure or being too intense? We've just covered the extended gaze, a powerful tool for shaping nonverbal but incredibly powerful connections. Thank you for joining us halfway through this video series. Your presence and support are invaluable inspirations that help us continue to produce high-quality content. Rule 6. Use a status trigger. This is not only a matter of material desire, but also a fundamental instinct, a survival response that has been shaped through millions of years of evolution. Men with power in any social context tend to be leaders, confident, and visionary individuals. When you are a leader in your life, whether in personal relationships or in a professional environment, you not only establish a solid position for yourself, but also develop confidence. When you are confident and decisive, you emit a radiant energy that attracts those around you. This confidence not only helps you become a more attractive partner, but also a respected colleague, friend, and admired leader. Imagine an evening when John, a young project manager, is invited to attend a cocktail party organized by the company. As he enters the room, he notices a somewhat subdued atmosphere, with people gathering in small groups and conversations trickling. Instead of choosing a secluded corner to observe, John decides to take the initiative to lead the situation. He approaches a group of colleagues and initiates a fun group game for everyone to participate in. John quickly sets out the rules, encourages everyone to join in, and even acts as a model to create a comfortable atmosphere. Soon, laughter fills the air and people gradually integrate. Thanks to his confidence and natural leadership abilities, John not only dissipates the tense atmosphere, but also enhances his position in the eyes of colleagues and superiors. From that evening, John is recognized by many as someone with the ability to lead and build relationships, proving that status and influence can be built positively and naturally through actions. In fact, when you take on a leadership role in work or school, do you notice a change in how people treat and respond to you? Can you share an experience where you felt the influence of your leadership and status on others? The seventh rule is the instant status signal. The thing that matters is not what you bear, but how you bear it. Seeking respect and power may not be the primary goal, but demonstrating masculinity appropriately and purposefully in society is undeniable. However, in Stoicism, it's important to maintain humility and sincerity. This leads us to the question, how can you reconcile the value of self-adornment with the philosophy of living a modest and meaningful life, dressing appropriately and with high quality?
even if not in a suit, is part of presenting oneself respectfully. This not only makes you more appealing to others, but also demonstrates respect for yourself and those around you. Personal style, when cultivated, is also a way to express status and build connections, demonstrating autonomy and deep self-awareness in line with Stoicism's spirit. In the journey of seeking genuine and deep connections, we often forget that true attractiveness stems from within. But by controlling emotions and recognizing the value of self-improvement through continuous self-enhancement, you'll discover how shaping and refining your character not only makes you more appealing to others, but also helps you become the best version of yourself. Join this exciting journey where you are the master of all changes. Rule 8. The Personality Hack A study in 2014 revealed that a positive personality not only enhances friendliness, but also improves attractiveness on a person's face. This raises the question, are we attracted to those who can consistently exude happiness and optimism? The answer most likely is yes. Therefore, by maintaining a positive attitude and generating good emotions around us, we not only make ourselves more attractive, but also attract those around us. For example, consider Marcus, an ordinary office worker who decided to apply Stoic philosophy to improve relationships with colleagues. He began by showing optimism and patience in every situation, instead of just blaming or expressing disappointment. As a result, not only his colleagues, but also those he interacted with daily began to notice the change, gradually being drawn to his positive attitude. Like Seneca, the famous Stoic philosopher once said, as is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. This advice echoes through the centuries and becomes particularly meaningful in the modern context. By building a resilient and positive self, we not only make ourselves more attractive, but also inspire those around us to find and build their best selves. Through the personality hack, we see that by applying Stoic philosophy, we not only improve ourselves, but also have a positive influence on those around us, creating a more attractive and friendly environment. This is an important step in building a harmonious and meaningful life. Rule 9. There should be romantic tension. Romantic tension, when understood in a physical sense, is the combination of two opposing forces. In the context of emotions, this means you need to both show care for the woman you want to attract and create challenges to make her feel that you are someone worth pursuing. This not only fosters curiosity, but also makes the relationship more exciting. Let's take an example of a date night. You and she have chosen a romantic restaurant with dim lights and soft music. The ambience is full, making it easy for you to feel the intimacy and joy of this date. As you enjoy a delicious dinner, you realize there is something special about her, and you want to convey this. However, at the same time, you also sense that your relationship needs more time to develop. When the appropriate moment arises, you pause and say, I'm genuinely drawn to you, but we should get to know each other more before going further. This statement not only demonstrates your sincerity and concern for her, but also creates a small distance, stimulating her curiosity and desire to continue meeting you. In the romantic atmosphere of this evening, your gesture creates a romantic tension, making both of you feel like you're living in an exciting and mysterious love story. This is not just a simple psychological game, it's also a lesson from Stoicism about living authentically with our emotions and actions not being swept away by immediate impulses. In this way, you not only attract others, but also develop a sustainable relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. In this way, building and maintaining romantic tension is a method for creating deeper and more meaningful relationships, as demonstrated by Stoicism. Rule 10. Beware of consistency bias. We often assess others based on previous experiences naturally and unconsciously. This phenomenon is called consistency bias in psychological research. Consistency bias not only explains how we perceive the world around us, but also serves as a key to understanding social interactions, especially in relationships.
Applying consistency bias to relationship building, we can leverage the power of first impressions to create a positive and lasting impact. By affirming and valuing the positive qualities of others, such as cheerfulness, friendliness, and confidence, we not only foster an environment conducive to bonding, but also reinforce those qualities in their minds. For example, when you notice how a woman shows care and concern for those around her, and then you say, I feel happy around you because you always prioritize others. You not only make her feel appreciated for her qualities, but also help her see herself in a more positive light. In this way, you not only affirm a positive relationship, but also lay a solid foundation for its development. However, for this approach to be effective, we need to be consistent and sincere in demonstrating these positive qualities. By maintaining and developing first impressions through actions and words, we can reinforce consistency bias and create a good opportunity for the relationship to thrive. We hope that the knowledge and methods we've shared in this video will bring you depth and practical application in your daily life. We've discussed the psychological tricks that can help create a positive impression and make the woman you're interested in admire you. But this is just a small part of a meaningful life. Remember that self-control and patience are the keys to profound self-understanding and relationships. True power isn't about controlling others, but about the ability to control oneself and one's reactions to the world around you. We are all students in the school of life, and sharing our knowledge and experiences is the best way to grow together. So please like, comment, and share this video if you find it helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss the latest videos on Stoic philosophy and motivation. Keep watching for the next videos displayed at the end of today's video to not miss any lessons. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey, and see you in the next videos.